in text form mapping. Part 1 Box Map This is Dark Mod. You're going to need to have it installed. This is the Dark Radiant. Go ahead and left click and drag in the grid viewport, the orthogonal view. Hit Control Tab to switch between views and drag out a rough, roughly cube shape. You can right click in the 3D viewport and use the directional keys and the mouse to navigate around. With the cube selected, select the hollow button. It is on the left hand panel um, toward the bottom. Then you will create a hollowed out cube like this. It will default to whatever grid spacing you're in, so you shouldn't have to set that right now, but it should create a hollow cube room. Now go into the media browser, scroll down to the textures, open up one of the textures that you like. You're going to want to use something I use stone, just a plain brick texture. With the brushes selected, right click on the texture and hit apply to selection, or you can go into your textures tab and double click on the texture and it will apply it to the brushes. Now go back into your orthogonal view, left click and drag out another brush, approximately dimensions of your room. This is going to be the shape and size of your light. Move the brush in the position you want the light to be and with it selected right click and select create light now right click again and drag down to create the player start entity and place that in your room you want it to be above the floor within the confines of the room now we're going to create another entity this is just probably uh, going to be a weapon or something. We'll place that in the room. This is the Entity Inspector. And you can scroll down and see all of the different things that are present in the Dark Mod game. We're going to go down to Weapons and select a sword. Hit Add and that will add it to the room. Now you can hit Control Tab and position the sword somewhere in the room. This is the same basic process for placing 3D objects or models in your map. Now left click and drag out another brush. It will make it like a little pedestal for the sword to sit on top of. Now we're done. Hit Control S or File Save and save out your map. I'm going to call mine Map 1. doesn't matter what you name it, but you have to remember. With your map saved, go back into Dark Mod and hit control alt tilde tilde is to the left of the one key and type in dmap space and the name of your map alternately you can hit the first letter of your map and press the tab key and it will auto complete to whatever name of maps you have in your directory then hit enter this will compile your map and during this time the program may not be responsive once it's done hit control alt tilde again and type in map and then the name of your map using autocomplete helps and now it's loading your map. This might take a little while the first time. And you should be in your map. You can look around, uh, walk over to your pedestal, mantle up it. And that's your first map. There is one more thing we need to do to finalize this map, and that is add the ambient world light. Uh, ambient world lights or ambient lights in general are used in uh, the id tech 4 engine to kind of set a baseline light uh, so that the darkness isn't completely black and even in shadow there is some light value so that you can see color there is one more thing we need to do to finalize this map and that is add the ambient world light if we bring down the console, we can see that we haven't added the ambient world light because it says ambient light, ambient world not found, uh, attempting to create one. So we know we need to go back into the editor and add one in. Back in the dark radiant, create another brush, the same dimensions as the first or big enough that it encompasses the entirety of your map or of your room. And bring go into the entity inspector by hitting N. 
and change the name field. You can double click on the one of the properties in the scroll dialog and change the name key value pair to name and then ambient world all lowercase and save. Now go back into dark mod and compile again by bringing down the console and typing in dmap the name of your map and then load the map again by typing map in the name of your map and now it should load correctly everything will be over bright because we haven't adjusted the ambient light but we have a working map I also removed the pedestal and the sword and that is the end of the first part of this series it should get more fun as we go uh, but that's all for now thanks